Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. John Lopez UK here today, and today we are doing a review of this, the fire car in Mad Out 2. Alright, let's get right into this. So what is the fire car, for example? Let's just say it's a Kamaz from the game. Just a Kamaz truck with a extended bit in the back to fit fire equipment in that. It's basically just a fire lorry, you know. Used by the fire brigade and it's got a working interior and everything. And now let's just hop in. Let's show off the acceleration and everything about it. Don't mind the front bumper. Anyway, let's get right into the, uh, the start of this. Starting off. Pedal to the floor. Let's turn. Acceleration's absolutely dreadful. This thing is very slow. I have to admit, super slow. The engine doesn't sound too good. But... I don't like it. I don't like the speed at all. And the top speed right now, we've determined, is also very slow. So I'm assuming it's the 70 horsepower V6 option from the shop, which is not a lot. Yeah, this is very awful. Can we make this uh, turn? Let's see if uh, we can make this turn and how good the handling is. Well, eh, handling's too slow, so you can't really tell. So I'd say it's handling's awful for this vehicle. All right, let's send it in. All right, let's get a quick view of it while it's in motion. It's quite awful. It's large and it's uncomfortable being... And let's drift it. You can't really drift it, but it's just uncomfortable to be in. Showing you the camera views. This thing has a unique camera view for the, um, the bonnet camera as it shows the interior. But anyway, let's move on now. All right, we have a two-spoke wheel, which is very odd. Um, I've never seen those, to be fairly honest. Three seats, uh, and the front is literally just based off the regular Kamaz. No changes. No changes from this one to the regular Kamaz. Yeah, and you can see outside the roof with that. That's odd. Anyway, that's the front of the vehicle. In the back, oh god, this is where the fire brigade hang out. Now, the reg room here is absolutely dreadful. Oh, I'm in the door now. Okay, let's... Yeah, this one's all fine. All right, but, yeah, it's blank back here. Just some pillowy rear end. It's literally for a fire brigade or a SWAT team, to be fairly honest. That's how bad this thing is. Yeah, I... I wouldn't see people driving it in that. Can we... Can we get to the back? No, these ladders don't work, actually. Which is odd, but it doesn't really matter. Um, Can't really get a view of the interior of the all the equipment in that, but this is most likely blank. Anyway, let's hop on top of the vehicle, see if we can actually get on top. And, uh, proving not. No, you can't get on top, but, you know, actually, I think this is not aerodynamic enough. Let's try from the front. Ooh, we can do it. No, we can't. Oh, we can't. Yes, we can. Yes, we've got to the top. Up here, we'll find two sets of ladders and some piping, and that's essentially just it. I guess there's nothing too special about this vehicle. It's interior and exterior just that it has a very weird rear end very unique all right now to show you guys the engine so right now looking at the front our feet are sticking out of it but literally it's got radiator bits and everything and that's the engine right there it's uh, i believe that looks as if it's a v8 of some sort but i'm sure in the shop you'll say it's the v6 or 70 horsepower yeah very not goodish and yeah, essentially, that's just the engine for all the people wondering what does the engine look like in this thing. Back is suspension and that. But anyway, let's get right into shooting. Alright, here we are at the shooting range. This got the 5 star wanted level. Anyway, let's start firing at the vehicle and see how long it lasts. Alright, results will be on screen because I don't want to record them myself and do all that.
Alright, so I've decided to cut the commentary on the other part, but now it's time for the customization of the vehicle, as in a last update. But anyway, this was added, so let's go over to the, yeah, this is huge. Absolutely massive. Alright, tune-up. I Oh, 60 horsepower V6 3.0. This is actually, uh, I believe it's an Alfa Romeo engine, but all-wheel drive comes standard, which is a good thing. Alright, windows, the fronts, literally, yeah. And then we've got the sides, which, here we are. That's it, two very simple changes. No color options here, but I'll show you guys how to paint this vehicle next. Those are for the number plates, yeah. No, we'll keep them black. Okay, let's go to vinyls. So this is how you really paint the vehicle. You select the color that you like, and then essentially just align it on the outside and then just put it all over there's gonna be red lines and red doors and everything but you can't really change those so i guess i kind of stuck with this style right now but i'll try to find the tips and tricks for that later on uh red uh, that's the, literally the fire brigade so we're gonna make it green no blue green is good i, I like green i'm feeling greenish today so that's how you do it all right, time for the uh, the wheels. All right, so all of these combined, it's got the X offset zero, Y offset zero, height fourteen, stiffness eleven, Z angle zero, um, and then that's for that side. And then it's the hold on a second. I think the front and rears might be different than each other. Actually, let's make it the front. No, oh yeah, they are different. They are different. None of the sides are different. So. Let's go over that. Front, we have 35 big truck front. Uh, radius is 50 and width is 38 and a 19 big truck front. That's essentially just the front of the vehicle. Color, all of this is white and the stiffness and everything. That is all the same. All right, so nothing too big over here. Offset, nah, yeah. Essentially just one wheel in the front and the other ones in the rear. Now let's change to the rear of the vehicle. Uh, 35 big truck backs and then radius 50 with is 65 or whites 20 big wheels back yeah this thing is very odd and essentially that's about it but you see you got two wheels two tires in the rear of the vehicle and in the front you have all of that i believe that's literally about it let's give it something that it probably enjoys some good modern style oh, i like the cyber truck ones those are really Bidding for me, and we're gonna set those huge. And uh, I don't really know. We're just gonna what we're gonna do. Essentially, yeah, that's that's good. To be fair, that's good. Just that's quite simple, quite quite smooth. That's essentially what we're gonna do. Horns, we're not gonna need a custom horn. I don't even know what this one's gonna be. But eight thousand. Now we're gonna get this one, and um. Okay, this thing is horrible. It's it's still horrible, but that's the customization for it. All right, guys. So today, now I'm gonna do the worth it part of this with this camera angle. At least I'm gonna attempt it. But basically, is this vehicle worth the price tag? Yes and no. Now, explaining it, it is a fire brigade, a literal fire truck. But oh. Bloody hell, this thing tips really badly. Um, is it worth it? Well, I mean, it's a fire truck. There goes another one. <laughs> Alright. Police car, don't hit me. Okay, we're all good. But essentially, it's a fire truck just built for its tasks and that. It really does want to tilt every time. I can't get it to tilt right now, but earlier it was. You guys probably saw. Yeah, now, yeah look at that. That's, that's tilting on a new level. But essentially, the customization is very small for it. Getting letters on the side, I'm, I'm sure that'll be very difficult once, once people find how to do that. Uh, it's got a custom, unique camera angle, which is very loved, and that while well, we're attempting to roll the vehicle, which we, I can't do right now, very oddly enough. It's it's a lorry, so you'll get that feel that you're over the wheels, which is very odd, and that. but when you're turning, you get loads of understeer. For, uh, I'd say yes, this vehicle is absolutely well, okay, okay, that is not fine, that is not okay, oh, and I do a stoppy, 
Yeah, my frame rate is dropping super low. Give me one minute. All right, now it's back to, it's a bit higher now, 22, 28, 19. It's still bad, but now it, uh, essentially it'll get better. And he's shooting at that thing. Let's take off. Let's get out of here. But, oh God, yes, it does do a stoppy. Okay, that's that's one trick you can, you can keep in mind with this vehicle. It does a, oh bloody hell, into a spinner. But... Yeah, that's essentially what it does. The passenger door is very odd in how it works. And that if I can get the vehicle to flip, the episode ends. Yeah, almost. But basically, I would recommend this vehicle for everyone who wants it. It's got legitimate things that people want. Oh, it's going to be more difficult now with the vehicle damaged. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I would recommend this vehicle. Go ahead and purchase it. One, uh, 140000 That isn't a lot of money, to be fairly honest. Ooh, almost flipped it there. Yeah, but it tips and everything. It's definitely fun if you want a V8, swap it in that. Without further ado, I'd say this vehicle is worth it. One last attempt at rolling it, and we've rolled the thing. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. The engine's missing, but peace. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.